what's up guys welcome to the channel it has been about two weeks now since we have posted a video and for good reason so behind me we have our 2022 toyota tundra we got this about three four weeks ago and i have been constantly working on this vehicle and it has taken pretty much all of my time but i think it's at a good point where i can start showing you guys what we've done to it we obviously have posted a few videos with some, some small mods we've done to it, but now I think it's ready to actually have an official video kind of dedicated to it. There are gonna be some bigger mods coming up for it as well, but now let's show you guys where it's at right now. So we are going to start on the back here. So what we've done back here, you guys can kind of see here, we have painted the chrome caps. That way it matches the rest of the truck. We have shown you guys the recovery point already, which is right down there. And then right back here, you guys will see, we have added some emblem covers or overlays from Toyota. So these are factory and they fit amazing. So we're gonna have that on our website if you guys wanted to pick that up for your own Tundra. But working over to the side here, we have a set of 37 inch tires and wheels that we have just mounted onto this here. So these are the Toyo Open Country MTs. These are pretty much our favorite go-to tires for pretty much all of our rigs. And for good reason, one, they look amazing. As you guys can see, the sidewall, the tread pattern, and they ride extremely good off-road. They do pretty good on-road, obviously, being that it is an MT tire, it's not gonna be the best but we have kind of gotten used to the way they ride and we have learned how to drive with them in the snow. So they're not that bad. And then these are the RRW RR6 wheels in the black color. We will have a protection ring that will go on this a little bit down the road. So that way if we get any curb rashes on the trail or on road, they will be protected. Well, the main wheel will be protected and the protection ring will take all the beating from rocks and so forth. And then right in here, we have the Apex Designs tire deflator kit. These things are absolutely amazing. They deflate super fast. All you gotta do is just pull this tab and they start deflating. I will show you guys a whole separate video on these. So be sure to be on the lookout for those as well. And then in order to fit these 37s, we obviously needed a lift kit. So what we have here, are some locked shocks. These are what we have on the Tacoma and we have the long travel version on the Tacoma, but we decided to give them another go with the Tundra. So that's what we have on the Tundra right now. In the rear for the lift, obviously shocks don't give any lift. So back there, you might be able to see it from down here. But we have Dobbinson's rear coils. You can see the teal color right down there. That gave us pretty much about a two inch lift or so. And then the red part you guys see right underneath there is the Dr. KDSS Panhard Correction Kit. So whatever you need or whenever you get a lift, you guys are going to need this for your Tundra 4Runner uh, or anything that has a coil spring in the rear. So that fixed a lot of the geometry that is in the track bar down there. So just remember, anytime you guys lift the rear, be sure to do that Panhard Correction Kit. Let's work our way over here. So this is a limited, and it's supposed to have a lot of chrome on it, which you guys don't see here. So that's the number one thing I wanted to do was just delete all the chrome. So we have replaced it with the factory gloss black pieces from this one down to this um, strip here all the way to the front door and we have also replaced the door handles these were chrome now they have the black and the red on there so it matches the truck a lot better and then the overlay for the emblems continue to the sides even down here to the Toyota Tundra so now there is zero chrome on this truck obviously there's a little tiny piece here in the turn signal but that's kind of you know nothing we can do about that but working our way to the front here talk about the suspension one more time so down here we have the same locked 
shock. So these are coilovers, so the spring is inside the shock. So that actually gives us, or allows us to give the front a lift. And then we have Total Chaos upper control arms to go with that setup. So what you guys see there is a three inch lift in the front and the two inch lift in the back kind of gives it a perfect stance in my opinion. So here's kind of what it looks like from the side view. But there were some trimming that we needed to do to allow these 37s to fit properly. So right in here, we chopped off a piece of metal that was down there. We might have to chop this piece off as well. A little bit down the road, we're gonna test the flex and make sure that everything isn't rubbing when we are fully flexed out or on the trail. So we're gonna see if it rubs there, we'll chop that off. If it doesn't, we'll leave it. But for now, we have made the necessary trimming. So right here, you can kind of see, this is where the line that used to go. It used to cover all that and now it's gone. We also trimmed this part a little bit as well for clearance. So now you guys can see here, we have about four and a half finger length in here. So that way we can um, properly stuff our tires in there if needed. And there is pretty much zero rubbing on road, but we just need to test the off road um, abilities of this uh, the setup. So the front, we also trimmed the fender liner right there. So um, normally the fender liner goes down a little bit further and blocks some of this back here. And then we also trimmed the front bumper cover as well. So in the front, we have exactly four fingers in the front. So that way I know that we're not gonna be rubbing in the front or the back. The other thing we have to worry about is this up and down. So we'll figure that out as well. And if we have any issues with that, we'll definitely make a video show you guys how to make the proper clearance for all that stuff. Now, probably my favorite part of this uh, Chrome delete process we were doing is what I call, or a lot of people call, the mustache. So this part, the shroud that goes around the grill was kind of like a chrome, satin chrome color. So obviously we took that off, had it painted, and it looks way better. And while we had that off, we went ahead and installed the TRD Pro Grill. This is also a factory OEM piece from Toyota. We are missing the grill lights, which Toyota is on the back order right now, so we're aren't, we aren't able to get those. But once we get those, we'll put those in and we'll have those on our website as well for you guys to pick up. But. This grill looks way better than the grill that was on here before. Granted, it's a very similar grill. Just the difference is this here, the Heritage um, Toyota logo, instead of just the, the oval that it normally is here. Um, the biggest benefit, in my opinion, for this grill is obviously looks, and it allows you to run a 20 inch light bar, which we have in here. This is probably our favorite brand to go with just because they are extremely bright and the quality is probably the best out there. This is the Baja Designs S8. So with this grill, you do have to re relocate the camera. So basically you have to buy a whole different camera to run with this because the brackets attach to that. So um, everything we've done as far as dechroming and the pro grill was a little bit costly but in my opinion, it was worth it. Down here, we have some Baja Designs S2s. These are the brand new SAE versions. That way we can run these on the road legally because they have a super clean cutoff wire. I will have a whole separate video for these because these are absolutely amazing. I would highly recommend these to pretty much every Tundra owner that has factory fog lights and want to upgrade. This is the way to go. And then one more Baja Designs light bar that we have down here. This is mainly going to be off-road use because the SA is way too bright to be using on-road. So we have that down here and we have these ones down here in the amber color, the yellow color that you guys um, have seen a lot of because they perform way better when there's dust, snow, uh, rain, pretty much any weather condition that isn't clear. So that's why we have all these ones in amber. And then we have the one in the grill 
in white. So that way, if you need to see far, we're gonna have this one. And if we need to cut through the dust and everything, the ambers are going to do that job. One last thing I didn't mention earlier when we were in the back was this rack here. So this is the Kuat bed rack. This is an extremely good looking bed rack. You guys can tell here the design is amazing. There are grab handles in the back here. Um, that's an add-on, but this bed rack you can convert from a mid height to a full height anytime you want because it comes with this center section here that will allow you to do that. And this setup that we have here will allow us to run a rooftop tent on top because we added these risers here. That way it will clear the antenna that we have right up there. And that way when we have a rooftop tent up here, the bottom of that will not hit that antenna at all. And we have some molly panels, full molly panels that are gonna go in this truck that we can run um, some max tracks and pretty much attach any gear to this we want a little bit down the road. We will actually make a full video on this bed rack probably pretty soon um, and show you guys all that. So we will do that a little bit later down the road and that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will have a link to all the parts here, even including the factory Toyota parts as well. And if you guys are looking to do this Chrome Delete, which is kind of costly compared to wrapping it, um, let us know, we can get all the parts here. We can do all the installs here if you guys are in Denver, Colorado. And that's gonna be it. We'll see you guys in a later video. Peace.